Get ready for my new hit album, Anarchy, coming out September 24th. Pre-save now for a free hug. Scratch that, two free hugs. Pre-order Anarchy right now and you get two free hugs. So don't be shy and click that link in the bio to pre-order it right now. Music Joe approves, and so should you. I'm Music Joe! With good tunes, fun for the whole family. A good government is not a good president is a dead one. Do you want to make explosives? You smoke man. All you need is the Anarchist Cookbook, published in 1971 by William Powell. The Anarchist Cookbook contains instructions for making bombs, making drugs, and a lot more. It was written to protest against the United States involvement in the Vietnam War. The legal status of owning the book is very questioned, but since freedom of speech is a thing in America, it's most likely okay to own it. But if you go to jail for something, it will be held against you. As a matter of fact, recently someone went to jail for owning it. In 2020, a 23 year old mathematics graduate of the University of Cambridge was convicted of collecting information useful to a person committing or preparing an act of terrorism. He claimed that it was just for academic learning, which I don't think makes too much sense. Maybe in the science world, because it's to make bombs and drugs, I mean, that's science. If you make drugs and you make bombs, technically, you're a scientist. So Powell, the writer of the book, wanted to become a writer but decided to go a little more of a political route when he was drafted into the Vietnam War, which inspired him to write these recipes and threw them all together to make a beautiful cookbook of destruction. The initial vision of the Anarchist Cookbook was to post instructional flyers in New York City, including how to throw a proper Molotov cocktail. If you don't know what a Molotov cocktail is, right here, baby. It's a bottle with a little bit of alcohol in it, and then you put a tissue in it, and then you light that bitch on fire, and you throw it, and you watch it blow. It is a weapon, so don't actually do that. So all those instructions and recipes eventually came together and made the book. It was a creation for the silent majority to fuck back. Which honestly, I could get behind. Powell stated, the central idea to the book was violence is an acceptable means to bring about political change. He later changed his mind about that. In other words, he just got kind of lame. He started to regret the decision of creating the book and wanted it taken away from the shelves, but it was too late. He had a lot of difficulty finding employment in his life. He described the book as a mistake that haunts him for the rest of his life. The book kept being published, but with less pages and more change. Then the original edition, making the original edition much more rare and dangerous than the later watered down versions. Which I think is a perfect time to say if anybody out there has an original version of the Anarchist Cookbook, let me have it and I will unbox it on my channel and it will be awesome. Yeah, I might get put on a watch list, but it's worth it because I love y'all. And I'll give it a good old reading. I'll show you guys what's in it. I'll show myself what's in it. And then I'll put it on the wall and frame it. I think it's a nice vibe. So eventually the company was bought out and the book stopped being sold. It was the only book the new company ever discontinued. As of 2016, over 2 million copies were sold. On that same year, on July 11th, the original author, William Powell, died from cardiac arrest. Due to the book having writings including hand-to-hand -hand combat, explosives, booby traps, drugs, tear gas, sabotage and demolition, surveillance, weapons, and other topics related to anarchism. It was the perfect book for the evil. Let's take a little gander at all the problems that this book has caused. In 1976, just a couple years after the book hit the shelves, police linked the bombing of the Grand Central Terminal and hijacking of a TWA flight to radicals who used instructions from the book. In 1981, the book was linked to a bombing in the FBI headquarters. Thomas Spinks also referred to the text during the bombings of 10 abortion clinics in the United States. In 1995, the Oklahoma City bombing was allegedly done with instructions from the book. That's crazy because that's a case that I know. That's the first case that I've read so far that I know of. And I'm like, whoa, they had that book? That's crazy. I'm starting to think that this book was causing some problems, dude. You think? In 1999, the police found the anarchist cookbook in the possession of Columbine High School school shooters Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. 
and it may have inspired them. That is crazy. I really am very, very familiar with that case. I like to know everything about it, so that is pretty nuts. I think that's actually uh, the first time that I've heard about this book because I was like deep diving and I read somewhere that they had that book and I was like, what's that book? And then I learned about it and now I'm making this video. What's up guys? In 2002, the Canadian government permitted the book to be imported from the US. They came to the conclusion that it doesn't violate hate or laws so the ban was discontinued. In 2007, a 17 year old was arrested in the UK and faced charges under anti-terrorism laws for the possession of the anarchist cookbook. He was cleared of all charges after saying he was just a prankster who just wanted to make fireworks and smoke bombs. In 2010 in the UK, Ian Davidson and his son were imprisoned under anti-terrorism laws for the manufacture of ricin. I don't know what that is. I don't even know if I said it right. Their possession of the anarchist cookbook was noted. This led to the UK government wanting to ban the book. In 2012, the anarchist cookbook was found in the possession of James Holmes, which I am 100% sure that you guys have heard of. It was in Colorado and it was in a movie theater playing Batman, which is absolutely terrifying. Every time I ever go to a movie theater, that's like in the back of my mind, I'm always kind of scared. It's crazy that that dude had this book. In 2013, renewed calls in the United States were made to ban the book. It linked to a school shooting in Colorado and in Santa Monica by Carl Pearson. In 2015, the London Public transport bombers were linked to the book. The same year, U.S. Senator Dianne Feinstein pushed to have the book removed from the online databases, which is not going to happen, dude. Like, the internet is forever. Like, there's no way you could just wipe that from the internet. It's, it's there and it's always going to be there. In 2017, a dude in the U.K. was arrested for owning the book, but he got off. And lastly, the one that I mentioned earlier in 2020, a dude from the UK got arrested on acts of terrorism because he owned the book, but he didn't do anything. It was just because he owned it. He got off because he said he was just trying to learn and he just got it from Amazon, which is crazy. That's right, Amazon. You could buy the book on Amazon, but it's not really the real deal. If you want the actual crazy stuff, you have to get the first edition. The one on Amazon is watered down. It has less pages, it has less information. It doesn't have all the crazy stuff that the original had. So I'd say it's not even worth the bother. So if you wanna see the original book, make sure to like this video, comment down below. I'll try to get my hands on it. We'll see what happens. And of course, if I do, I'll unbox it for you guys. It's gonna be crazy. This is something that I've definitely been interested in adding to my collection. So we'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching and get ready to listen to my album, Anarchid. What a great theme for this video. It's coming out September 24th, so you better listen to it. It's a week from now from this video being posted. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be sick. Please support it. Love you guys so much. Peace.